Hi guys and welcome to my music room. My name is Mrs Lunnan and today we're going to do some activities using the xylophones. Now I've got mine set up on a D pentatonic scale. So that means I've got five notes and because penta means five uh, and tonic means notes or sounds. So I've got five sounds, pentatonic. Because it's a D pentatonic scale, it starts on the letter D. So I've got D, E, F sharp, A, and B. If you don't have the F sharp bars for your xylophones, that's okay. Just make sure the F is around the other way because F and F sharp are two very different notes. Now you can take the notes off or you can just turn them upside down. Two great ways to set up your instrument. Okay, the first game we're going to be playing is called 99 o'clock. 99 o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. 99 o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. The clock struck D. The clock struck E. The clock struck B. And the clock struck B. Ouch, 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 ouch. You can use any notes you like. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to stop and you guys are going to go and get some instruments and we're going to play together. Okay, so now you've got your instruments. Make sure that you've got D, E, F sharp, A and B. Ready? Here we go. 99 o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. 99 o'clock. Tick tock, tick Talk. The clock struck A. The clock struck E. The clock struck F sharp. And the clock struck me. Ouch, 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 ouch. Now, so now let's play the game with your new notes. So I'm not going to play this time because I don't know what notes you've chosen, but you will play. You ready? Here we go. 99 o'clock. Tick. Tick tock, tick tock, 99 o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock, the clock struck. One, two, three. The clock struck. One, two, three. The clock struck. One, two, three. And the clock struck me. Ouch, 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 ouch. So now we've warmed up our brains and our hands ready for our activity. We're going to play, we're going to write some ostinatos to go with our song, You Can't Keep Us Down. So I have some flashcards here that my friend Robin made for me. Can you clap and say the patterns with me? Here we go. T, 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 ta, ta. Nice simple one. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. See if you can get that one sound in your class. You ready? Not lots of sounds. All together. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Next pattern has got a zar in the end. Remember, zar is silent. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Shh. This one's got two zars. Here we go. Ta, sh, ta, sh. Okay. So now we're going to put them on our instrument in a pattern to go with our song. You can choose any one of these five notes to go with the sticks in your pattern. First pattern I'm going to use is this one and I'm going to choose three notes to go with it. My three notes are going to be D, E, F sharp. Your three notes might be different. So we're going to play this with the verse. you go. Perhaps you could make up a different pattern. I'm going to choose this pattern next and this pattern is going to be for our pre-chorus. I think I might go B, A. 
If you've got your instruments there, you might like to play along with me. B, A. Don't forget the czar in the middle. Now, when we're playing, we sometimes click the czars just so that we know that they're still there. Okay, ready? My next pattern is for the chorus. So I've got four sticks this time, so four notes. My notes this time I might do in a descending pattern like this. My last pattern is the one for the tag. This is the card I've got left, so it looks like that's it. Now this one has six sticks, which means I need six sounds. So I could use a double note for the TT, or I could use two separate notes. How creative could you be? I think I'm gonna use the same note, just to keep it easy for me. Mm. So I could do something like this. That sounds fun, I like the big jump. Right, let's try that with the music. So now we've created some ostinatos together with our music. It's your turn to go and create some ostinatos of your own. Can you create four beat ostinatos to go with our song? You might use a different ostinato for each section of the song. You might layer those ostinatos throughout there. You might even play two at the same time. It's your turn to go and be creative. Have an amazing day and we'll see you on Celebration Day. Bye.